Hey pals, it's Sassy Cassie, and welcome back to another reaction video of Naruto Shippuden. As always, I'd like to thank all of my subscribers and anyone watching this video. Thank you so much for watching and continuing to follow me on this crazy shinobi journey. I would also like to give a very special thank you to my patrons. Now, previously on Naruto, we've got quite a bit going on. There's this struggle between Sakura and Sasuke. He like tried to kill her. Then Kakashi came in, swooped in. They had like a two second interaction. <laughs> It was longer than two seconds, but it was really short. And then he's about to kill Sakura again. And then Naruto swoops in, saves the day. And now Naruto and, well, Kakashi and Sasuke had like a, another brief moment. But now Naruto and Sasuke have collided again like they did at the end of Naruto. And it was like such a good battle. It was like had, and we're, we're learning now that there are so many more significant things about the the place that they battled and like how they just collided and now they're colliding again for like the same way for the first time in years in like hundreds of episodes and they're in like this really white pure ethereal place where they're just like these little shooting star things floating around and Naruto is just pouring his heart out and just telling Sasuke that well, telling him again, he's like, I get where you're coming from. If anybody understands wanting revenge on the whole village, it is me. But now I have also lost somebody who I would have considered to be like my family. And he gets it. Again, it's not quite the same. Nobody's experiences are exactly the same. But as Naruto said, they are similar. And he really, really wants Sasuke to know that he gets it and he really wants the way because he's at least in the end of the last episode he was saying that Sasuke saved him because he kind of knew that there was he wasn't alone it was there was also somebody else like him and he made him his rival because you know he that's what he did that's what he, he used to like push himself forward and now he's like, I'm going to save you from revenge. I mean, he said that before, but I know that that's the point that he's getting at. Like, you saved me and I want to save you because you saved me from going down the path of revenge. And now I want to save you from going down the path of revenge. So I absolutely love that. I, I know that Sasuke is drowning in his own hate and he is being consumed by it, by revenge and maybe a little bit of manipulation. I feel like Mata has manipulated him so much but like maybe it's not that much i don't know he's still not he he has plans for sasuke but i don't know what they are and i don't like the implications so i hope that sasuke can see even though he's like going blind right now there's so much symbolism in him seeing the light because like he was saying earlier he's like turned he's closed his eyes to the light so it's not that he can't see it he's just like ignoring it <sighs> i don't know there's so there's so much that i could say so much more i could say so much more to unpack but i'm ready to get in this next episode and see what more naruto has to say to see maybe what sasuke's reaction is i don't know if he's going to turn over a new leaf or turn the leaf back over because you know I feel like maybe it's too soon but I also thought it was too soon for everything else so I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm sorry what what okay <laughs> start off that way and then we're going back to this ah! fine i knew that he wanted a lot of eyes i knew he wanted a lot of eyes but i didn't know he had that many oh how 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 was it when the clan was destroyed did he do it then oh my gosh i have so many questions i have so many questions oh, but i'm trying to be calm because i gotta focus on naruto's heartfelt feelings Teamwork's all messed up, Sasuke! 
it makes me giggle now. It makes me giggle now because things were so simple then. Things were so simple then. And sometimes I wish we could go back to that. <laughs> Not that I don't appreciate the complexity. A good complex story makes a great story because it's intricate and interesting and there's so many facets. But man, it's like whenever you're an adult and you think about like when you were a kid and how simple things were then. <sighs> sometimes I wish I was a kid <laughs> again. Queen Gata was like consumed by, you know, now that I think about this, whenever he was still a tailed beast and like still had um, whatever inside him, at that point, by the time he came Hokage, did he have control over it like that other dude? So maybe you don't have to be an adult. I can't remember. But or either that or can't, I didn't really think about him having control over it at the time, but now that it's been presented to us that you can control it, you're Tailed beast powers. He fell for it. Oh, we're really going all the way back through all of their moments together. Now I do recall that some people were like, you know, in a way that this is them being selfish because they don't really get it or they don't, that was his decision or whatever. But I wonder if at this point, when you guys watch the current episodes, Naruto having gone through everything that he's gone through now, is it still selfish of him? Like, I understand that a lot of people really think that Sasuke is justified. And I'm not saying he's not, like he's been through a lot and it was really unfair what happened to him and his family. But like, I wonder if people think Naruto is selfish for wanting to save him from himself. I just don't believe that. I am not gonna be a loser. But I'm not gonna be the hero who killed you either. Neither one's gonna happen. Hmm. I love how they said all of that in this single blow. I really should. Sasuke, he's in a real bind. What now? Collect the Renegon. Like he's all going for it. Those are not just Uchiha eyes. The Nine Tails, huh? It seems that when you two see each other, you just can't suppress the urge to fight. <laughs> I'll arrange the proper time and place for you to fight. I'll arrange it. Arrange it. For now, we retreat. And I'll stay and fight for you. After all, we need to capture the Nine Tails Jujutiki anyway. Is that what he means by arrange? Are they just gonna hold on to him so Sasuke can fight him again? I'm sticking close to Sasuke. This is going to be tough all by myself. Interesting. Are we gonna get some backup? I know. But don't worry, I'm all right. There's just one thing I want to make sure I say to Sasuke before he leaves. And that is... The thing about high-level shinobi? When two shinobi are powerful enough, they are able to read each other's thoughts simply by an exchange of fists. <laughs> Which is exactly just what happened. <sighs> Throw all of it right at me. I'm the only one who can handle all that hate. Do you understand? I'm the only one who can fulfill that duty. <laughs> so I'll bear the burden of your hatred. And I'll die wow. with you. Naruto. <laughs> He's like a boss. He's so good. <laughs> Just what in the hell do you want from me? Why are you so fixated on me? Because you're my friend. <sighs> Friendship! Oh, the best of all ships. You... 
<laughs> All right. I guess that I'm done nagging you for now, Sasuke. Damn it, this is ridiculous. I'm not any good with words. I I shouldn't try to lecture you. <laughs> He's been through a lot that you didn't see, Sasuke. And both of us end up dying. You won't be an Uchiha, and I won't be the Nine Tails Jinchuriki anymore. We'll be free of our burdens, and we'll understand each other in the afterlife. I can't with how nonchalantly he says such powerful words. Fine by me, but at least I'll take you down first. No problem. Uh, it's clear that you still don't respect me at all. <laughs> I I can't. It's like they're kids again. They're just ah. Oh, it's like they went back just a little bit, just a little bit. Oh my gosh. I can't even save a friend. Fine, Sasuke. I'll fight you. Wow. So it didn't get resolved, but in a way, it got settled a little bit. What? Huh? Naruto. wound you mean that this is all oh, the poison <laughs> the fact that he did this this whole time <laughs> he was poisoned oh boy i still feel really sick uh, are you all right oh. are you gonna throw up hold on that's him that's Naruto Uzumaki. Are you ready? I wonder what he thinks about his wall of eyeballs. Or, well, you know what? He can't really see, so. I will destroy the hidden leaf. <sighs> I guess this does answer my question a little bit because I... I actually think somebody made a comment about this, about how he just transferred, like, a power to him, not actually his eyes. But now he's getting his eyes. Maybe he's not. Did they get Itachi's eyes? <laughs> Can't recall. Or they didn't show it. Or both. <laughs> I don't know. Well, that was interesting. There was, there was a lot going on in that episode. But not really. But I... <laughs> I kind of forgot that they talked about that way back in Naruto about feelings, like being able to know what each other's thinking just by exchanging blows. And I, I love it. I love it so much. And I love that Naruto was like, can you tell what I'm thinking right now? I love whenever, because I they did that before. He was like, hey, are you all right? Or are you scared or scaredy cat? Whatever he said. And I love when Naruto threw it back in his face. And like all these years later, Oh, it's so good. It's so good when they make callbacks to things that happened before. <sighs> I'm, I guess I'm satisfied with this. I, I would have been ecstatic if they had resolved it, but that would have been too soon. But again, everything else was also felt like too soon. So the fact that in a way Naruto like has so much self-awareness and so much like he's learned a lot and been through so much and he so much that Sasuke doesn't even know about so of course maybe to him he's like you didn't understand you're still a loser or whatever <laughs> I, I have to giggle because I'm like yeah he still calls him a loser fine whatever but with everything that we've seen Naruto go through he has also been through a lot it's not exactly the same but I love that Naruto is just like, I, I'm i not worthy of being Hokage if I can't save a friend. And just the fact that he was like, I'm not going to be the hero that kills you because he doesn't want to kill him. He was like, you either will come back willingly or I will die with you. Like, Naruto, oh, he's the best. I can't. 
he's just so amazing and wonderful and he has like this resolve and just a understanding that not many people will ever get or understand and just seeing that for especially in an MC this is especially thinking about this being like an older show and this coming out so long ago and knowing where he started as this goofy kid that just does you know graffitis the statues to this hero of the village and somebody that will save the village by also going I mean not that other people didn't fall for the village but like oh oh my gosh and I know that the village especially considering things that past leaders have done and some of the upper management have done hasn't been great it doesn't make them saints none of the ninja clans are saints like none of them are or ninja villages, well clans, but also villages. None of them are perfect, but just the way that Naruto handles himself, handles the situations is just absolutely amazing. I love him so much. He's a great main character. I am not ever gonna get over it. He's great. <laughs> I think it is interesting that he's going to go forward, at least Sasuke's going to go forward with getting Itachi's eyes. And I'm sure, I guess that was part of Madara's plan. I'm just wondering if he's actually going to get Itachi's eyes or if he's going to get somebody else's eyes. And he has like a whole wall of eyes. I know that he was like, I, I remember him saying that uh, he makes it a point to keep a collection on him or whatever. Because I know he wants to do the whole like reflecting the shining gun on the moon and like putting the whole world in like one giant genjutsu thing. I get that. But I didn't think he already had like all of these eyes and it makes me wonder if he got all of these when the Uchiha clan was slaughtered. Cause didn't they say that Madara helped him kill the whole clan? I'm, I, that's the only thing I can think of. But I also, he's like, wants to get the Renegon. I thought, well, I guess that one girl took Nagato's body. But I really don't want him to get <laughs> the eyes of somebody else. Like, let him be. Let Nagato be. <laughs> I don't know. There's so much. And I'm just going to cut it off there and just <sighs> be at peace for now. We'll get to the next episode and it'll probably be unpeaceful. But for now, thank you all so much for watching and continuing to follow me on this crazy shinobi journey and until next time bye